Hey everybody, welcome back. So this is the uh, first part of the West Ham game. This is uh, way before the game. This is before even the international break. I'm just going to take you through transfer deadline day very quickly. This is like the first part. I'm just going to tag on uh, the start. So this might be a good 20 odd minute video. I certainly hope it is. As you can see here, um, Carraro, this is what he is. I'm sad to set him to first team because he will inevitably break into the first team. So his agent is being a cunt. Um, he wants an extra £200,000 on his agent fee and I cannot get it, the highest thing get, he wants 500 I want. I only can only offer him 300 his agent is being an absolute cunt. Um, and he refuses, his agent is being a twat, I cannot get hold of him. Um, his agent's being a cunt. I, 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 I'm fortunate I wasn't capturing it at the time, but um, yeah, his agent's being a cunt, so what I'm going to do. What do you guys think of Mario Balotelli? Do you think? I might put like a cheeky offer in for him, like a £5 million offer in for him. D just because just he's, let's be honest here, he's quality. I'm not going to say no. Balotelli, that's one. Diego Erfan. As I said, just because he's there, just because he's on his transfer list, so my city might accept that. Ooh, backroom advice. Well... Okay. Because, you know, this is... Uh, well, I'm sorry, Gary, but I know a bit more than you about football. This Liverpool team, mate, unfortunately. I've been here longer. Don't you do that to me. So, uh, I'm just going to take you through the last couple of days of the transfer deadline here. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for um, uh, giving, taking time out to recommend me players, etc. Um, appreciate them all. I'm going to be giving everyone who you know, offered me the likes of Haz and Digne, etc. Um, unfortunately, you can't get Sonogo. He's gone to Lazio on loan. And as you can see, we have a lot of injuries. But as I say, I'll be saying in the next video, probably. Uh, I'll probably give a big thanks to uh, everyone who suggested. And uh, certainly to whoever offered uh, said Digne, I'll be giving you a special thanks. So I'll, I'll check your <laughs> name this time. Um, so who was that? Sorry, Glenn Johnson was named in the team week. Bell Balotelli, though. Okay, Man City negotiate. What do you think, guys? Don't know why I'm asking you because it's risky, but a one that could pay off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to accept it, and I'm going to get send uh, Daglish to check him out. For Christ's sake! <laughs> the fuck is this shit? Seriously, does not not happens. Am I supposed to... Oh, piss off, Cal. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, mate. Okay, he'd obviously be a key player. Oh, sure, that's actually not that bad. Oh, come on, it's £25,000. That's absolutely nothing. Come on. Gosh, that surely makes sense. What the fuck? You kidding me? Um, okay, I'm gonna have to change the budget, I guess. Um, that's not bad. Huh? Oh. Oh, what? Still nothing. Huh. Oh, come on, it's like fucking 80 grand. I can't, because I can't really change the budget adjustment anymore. Because um, if I do that, that's then going over, you know, the... Um, oh, that's annoying. Try that then. It's got 10 million, so I'll have 3 million pound left, but... Why does it keep going to this? Christy. Um... Well then, do a 15 goals. Surely that's a can't. I cannot offer him any more. That 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 is all I can offer him. I cannot. I'm just gonna keep saying this. I'm getting rid of some real contish agents on this. Should they have to five goals? You get that. Try that. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Cool. There you go. He's accepting that. And it's just again. Friggin' signing on fees! Ugh. Tell you what, we'll, we'll change up his appearance. Oh, Christ. I'm a, whatever. 
Try and that. Change that. There, ah, there we go. So Balotelli, hopefully. It's a bit of a stress, stressful thing there, but um, Mario Balotelli, then. Um, the guy who got sent off in the Europa League final now plays for us. £7 million for Balotelli. I've got Torres, Carroll and Barat Balotelli. Um, now, I know you might be thinking, well, he, no one really recommended me him. He's on transfer list. He's on he's transfer list. Um, you know, and I've looked at everyone's suggestions, and I'd like to thank everyone for that. See, so I spent a good twenty-eight million pounds. But what I'm thinking is with Carroll, he isn't doing as much as I thought he would be doing you know, in terms of getting himself on the pitch, around the pitch, and everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm starting to bring in Balotelli. You know, imagine that for a strike force now, Balotelli and Torres with you know maybe Carroll playing in behind them or something. You know, that's a frightening partnership. So we'll see where we go from here. Um, now I'm going to fast forward through all these international breaks, and I'll uh, see you in a few moments. Hey guys, welcome back. Now, uh, just a few things to uh, cl clarify, as you may be able to hear. Uh, my voice may sound different. Um, I may, at some point throughout this commentary, sound like Michael J. Fox. <coughs> uh, with that, um, with the voice cracking and so on. Uh, the reason for this is it's been a few days since I've actually l just done the, uh, the bit you've just watched. Uh, that's because I lost my voice, uh, pretty much. Uh, that's why, you know, th there's been a... A period where there was no videos, might have done like one video, uh, but you know I thought uh, I'm not going to let a little croaky voice stop me from doing a commentary. So yeah, this I'm going to uh, continue on to this West Ham game now. I have set my team out here. <clears throat> um, Carroll, I'm just going to throw Balotelli straight in. Uh, Hazard's going to be playing in the middle. Kalu there with Gerard. Actually, yeah, yeah sorry. Um, Morales is going to start. Um, Instead, Lucas. Now, bear in mind, of course, they came off an international break. I think, yes, they did. Um, and obviously, um, some of them are a little bit tired. I mean, Martin Scale, for example, he's eighty-six. You know, I mean, and uh, who else? Lucas is ninety. So I'd thought I'll throw Morales in there. I don't often play Morales. I will only ever throw a defensive midfielder in a defensive place. But needs must with Morales, and he hasn't played that much this season either. Um, you know, so I mean, again, look at other players here. You know, Amu's not well, Amu's not bad, but Bruno's ninety-two. Might be seeing more of this guy, Bruno, as the season goes on. Um, he's meant to be a very good talent. So, and we're going to give uh, Mario Balotelli his number. He likes number forty-five. I think it's forty-five. Yeah, it is. It is free, so he will get number forty-five. Let's see how he does. Now, of course, his morale, as you can see, is very poor. Um, I hope that will pick up. Actually, let's have a look at the uh, their team. Oops, Daisy. Um. Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, they have okay. There's your team. Um, they have Tal Ben Haim, uh, James McFadden, which is quite interesting. Ryan Taylor, who actually I really like. Uh, I remember him playing for Tramia. He was quite a good player, you know. And we've seen he's got a good uh, got a good foot on him. We've seen for uh, Newcastle. And uh, you know, I think I I rate him quite highly. You know, I think uh, he's a decent little player. Anyway, let's set the uh, team talk. Let's wish the players luck, and let's play. So, uh, yeah, I do apologise for this uh, voice, um, but what I want to talk about today is just one or two things. Um, last night, at least the time I'm doing this, I was testing out some live stream um, stuff. Uh, thanks to any, any and everyone who turned up, and here's a first chance for Balotelli, and Robert Green pushes over. Uh, thanks to, uh, I think Goose turned up, and I think, um, I forgot your name, your man from Sweden, I forgot your name. <laughs> he, had like a, he had like a wacky little name, like with letters and numbers in it. Um, I'm sorry, I can't remember names. As I say, I just do these commentaries without pre preparing anything. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks to everyone who turned up. Um, what that will mean is I'll be doing some live streaming in the future. What the content will be of, though, I don't know. Um, I did try out some football managers streaming, but it is really difficult to try. You know, I mean, on YouTube, it's it's difficult to watch on YouTube at the best of times. You know, I mean, I'm surprised how many people actually like it. You know, I mean. I mean, do you guys watch it in full screen, or do you watch it in, like, the expanded um, player on YouTube? Because I've always sort of watched other people's, uh, I've even watched my, my own videos back, and I've thought, how can you actually see what's going on? I mean, I have to watch my videos in 360, almost always, all my videos um, I load on YouTube are almost going to be 360p, because the, uh, the my, my internet's so slow, but, um, well, at least, well, from where I am, anyway, and, um, you know, so it, I'm thinking, wow, the quality isn't that good. But you know, imagine it really was like watching it in. Imagine 240p. Put this video to 240p, and then half that again. 
You know, it really was that bad. Wow, James McFadden. Wow. Seriously. <laughs> well, you know, you get the idea. So, football manager is quite difficult. The frame rate is quite poor. Um, and all that sort of stuff as well. So, it was tricky, but I think we, we did get round in the end. I say, it was just more of a um, test, as I say. So, I wasn't too bothered at this point. But I was thinking maybe doing some more sort of audio kind of things. Maybe like podcasting, maybe. Or, you know, just sort of discussions or something you know i was thinking about maybe using i was using ustream last night i was thinking about maybe using tiny chat instead and there's a goal from steven gerrard very good finish good pass from andy carroll we haven't had too much of the game but uh steven gerrard has put us in front good little pass here from kyle he's get he's getting some assists he's doing pretty well you know and he's not scoring that many goals but he's done well in terms of assists, he's like Adam, you know, I thought I was going to bring Charlie Adam in for the goals, but no, he proved to assist, and I think that's what Andy Carroll's doing here, admittedly, Carroll is a centre forward, and I do expect him to score goals, but uh, he's doing okay so far with the uh, with the assists, I'll let him off for now. But yeah, I was thinking maybe doing some podcasting, use tiny chats, like sort of me talking on a mic, maybe doing stuff with other people, great finish. Um, you know, maybe maybe Chris, if you're watching this, maybe you want to do something, or anyone, maybe some fans or something, or I don't know, anyone who else does football manager commentaries, maybe do you want to get involved? I don't know, I'm just throwing up ideas for now. Oh, Hazard, poor, poor. I was poor from Hazard there. Um, but yeah, podcasting and all that, maybe. Um, live streaming football manager, like future, like whilst I record episodes, would be tricky, but. I may give it a go at some point, but I'll, I'll, I don't know, I'll, I'll see. Um, what I will do though, if I ever am live streaming, um, I'll put in like a, I'll upload like a little 10 second YouTube video saying live stream now, join. You know, I mean, I had like, you know, I think at one point we had like 10 people in last night, and you know, last night, I mean, like half one in the morning, you know, considering most of you guys probably in bed at that point, I assume, you know, I mean, I'm, you know, I, I'm like a little night owl, like stay up to like three o'clock in the morning after time, just doing random crap. But um, yeah, so you know, we'll, we'll 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 see in the future. But any suggestions you guys have? I and mean, I was doing all sorts of wacky shit with um, virtual DJ. I have virtual DJ. Would you guys like me to play music over? You know, I could do DJ. I mean, I'm not, I'm a, I'm not like a DJ or anything. But you know, I suppose that you'd describe um, as a bedroom DJ. I suppose I can mix songs. Not that like I listen to Fifty Cent and Snoop Scoop Doggy Dog and all that. I listen to a bit of dance music. That's about it. But you know, um, I, I don't do any of that, but you know, it just does, that's again, just another thought. Um, but yeah, so what else do I want to talk about? I think that was about it, really, um, in terms of that. But I was to say, that's just the live streaming idea. If anyone has any suggestions then uh, for what I could do on that, then uh, feel free. But bear in mind, you know, the uh, video quality isn't perfect. It isn't, in fact, it's not even far, far from perfect. It's quite poor, actually. It was really difficult to watch, um, apparently. So uh, we'll see. As I say, we'll, we'll just see in the future, but for now, I'm just going to be throwing these videos out um, regularly, uh, I want to try to anyway, and just see where we go, so I don't know how many more of these I'm going to do, so you'll be able to tell <laughs> as, uh, as I get better how uh, how many commentaries I do, because obviously you know, this is quite, my throat is quite hoarse at the moment, and uh, hopefully things should get better, I'm going to have to take them to crank the team up a bit here to control, I wonder how many goals Gerard's got, I think Gerard's really stepped up this season, he, he was good last season. I, mean, I think he won Players Player of the Year, but he still, for me, you know, when he was at his peak, you know, in like um, 2005, six, seven, maybe even eight, you know, I, he he had that wow factor about him, and certainly in real life, this scene as well, he certainly didn't do that. You know, he he was I don't know, he was like lacking something. Well, I think it was mainly because he was injured for most of the season, to be fair to him. You know, I mean, he he did well against United at Anfield, and I think he did well. Oh, for fuck's sake, who was this? Who just gave the ball away? I'm sorry, that was sloppy, and Reina was in a terrible position. West Ham, by, by the way, um, I should point out, West Ham on this are actually really, really fucking good. Um, I don't know who gave the ball away. Gerard, well, poor tackle. I mean, I got a, oh, who's this? We click on the bastard, Daniel Iger. Really should be doing better there, I'm sorry. Um, well, there you go. But yeah, as I say, West Ham are like really good. Um, I don't know why they're good. I'll go back to standard. Um, well, they've, well, they've got a good team, but you know, it, it's just so they're so different to how they are in real life. It's it's not even funny 
how the difference. Um, they they were races the overachievers. Okay, we're gonna take Kalu off for Ryan Babel again. He gets the team going, and we will take we'll take off Balotelli for. Actually, I'll leave him for now. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's see how we do now. Uh, ah, Kalu wins a free kick, and he is gonna be coming off in a moment. He's obviously not coming off now. But um, we'll bring Babel on here. So he gets to keep the team going. He, I think he probably will as the season goes on. Apply him more and more on the from the subs bench. Um, he will certainly be coming on more and starting a few games as he did for us when he played. You know, he was one of my. He was certainly a big super sub. And surely that has to be. Oh, he's off. Ilunga's off. That's another red card against us. Um. We always seem to have we always seem to have quite a lot of red cards. Can't remember was it last game? I can't remember. I might have been on the other game actually. Never mind. Um Oh and the ball just sails across the corridor of uncertainty there. Do you like them phrases by the way? <laughs> um Look at that Alunga look at Alunga was um he got booked sixty nine. Well sixty nine. Um and sent off seventy. Must have been must have been quite peeved off. Oh and Hazard nearly played in there. Glenn Johnson's been uh, missing out on a few balls. He needs to do something now. Come on. Let's just give it to Hazard. He needs to do something for us. And there you go. He's getting his shots on target. He's he's doing well. He's getting he's quite productive. I wouldn't be too unhappy with a draw here. Not gonna lie. I mean, you might know, be thinking, what are you talking about? You know, wh wh why would you be unhappy? Why would you be? You know, you surely you've got you want to win. Um, as I say, they're not that. They're really really good on this. Oops, Daisy. I'm gonna throw Count and Carroll up front. We're just gonna have Maxi there. We're just gonna have four four two. Now apparently these play quite well against um four four two, but we'll just throw it up anyway and just see what happens. Because they've got ten men. We should really be attacking, but I can't change it. Never mind. Oh Balotelli! Oh, he should have done better. Not the most amazing debut for Mario Balotelli, but he will uh, take some settling in. Um I forgot he was even playing there for a second. <laughs> well just he's been that was the first real sighter of we saw of him. We'll go to attacking. Don't never go overloads unless you're losing. Obviously, and I should really go without saying. But just if you do think, fuck it, you know, don't go overload. They will counter attack you. They will. They're most likely be on counter as well. And Hazard, that's not a good. That's not good enough. Hazard, he's he's like Stan. So far, he's been like Stan Collymore. A lot of hype. You know, really a lot of talk about him. But he hasn't really done it much. I mean, he's had chances. He's had sighters, and he's done. He's had his moments. But honestly, he hasn't done a great deal to help the team. You know what I mean? That's the way he'll pop up. Oh, and Kautz! And he scored in the 90th minute. What a substitution. Der Kautz with a goal. I don't believe it. So another late goal for Liverpool here. Got the late goal against Everton. And we have another late goal now against West Ham. They're defensive now. Upson nearly got the tackle in, but good composure from Kautz to... Uh, to finish the ball, well, we've had some, wow, well, yeah, they got Andy Carroll, very good, uh, performance him there, is cited by the ref, uh, done well, and late drama once again, this, something's happened at, at the end of every game, we've won 2-1, two, one. absolutely unbelievable, although I am concerned, we have look, conceded seven goals, to be fair, that, what they were against United, Chelsea, so, you know, to be fair, six of them were against United and Chelsea, so I can't really complain, really, you know, um well well then uh um that's cheered me right up that hopefully should make my sore throat go away now <laughs> late winner from Dirk Kaus sends I think it was third in the league but uh, Sunderland above us and someone behind us there has um has game in hand but Carroll well he's that's the first time he's really been highlighted um you know, by there, but uh, Barry Palatelli, yeah, there you go. Nobody cares about your penalty, go away. Uh post combat conference, let's do it. <laughs> I love it where it's like, Oh, it's an amazing like goal. Uh, love it. Um, I don't know, I didn't see it. Three assists, I mean I know for a strike there you go, I told you about the assists. I mean I know he's a striker but I think Balotelli did okay. You know, he, he could have been a lot worse. You know, he could have like scored no goal or something. I guess. Let's see. Um, Inter, Man United, Real Madrid, Liverpool, 
9 to 1. Wow, that's not bad. Jordan, oh, look at that. There's Jordan Banks. Is he a goalkeeper? He is. Oh, what the fuck? Really? Okay, we have Jordan Banks. <laughs> Just for that, my son, you are getting off of the contract. I don't even care if you suck. I have only just recently signed a new deal. I want to keep Jordan Banks. He sounds cool. Never mind. Anyway, we'll move on. Uh, so the transfer window, by the way, is now closed. No more uh, transfer um, recommendations. Please save them for December. Where, uh, sorry, for January, when I will be posting another video saying who should I buy in the transfer market. I will also be showing you the transfer um, players who've been transfer listed this time because that's one thing I realised I never did and Balotelli was there, no one offered me him but um, you know I think I made a good decision there with him so um, next game then ah, is against Cluj now I'm going to be skipping this game and we're playing this one off camera um, just because I want to skip ahead you know and I'll recap it in the next video which is against Hull at home um, so we're going, oh we're a bit up and down here, so we've got the Cluj game coming up next, then we have a live commentary against Hull, Stevenage I will also be skipping ahead, but then we've got a streak of uh, live games for you. It's, it's, as I say, it's not because I don't want to derive you guys with commentary or of content, it's just, I don't think they'll be very good. Um, it will just be me going, goal for Carroll, goal for Hazard, yay! You know, and you kind of expect to win anyway, you know, it's not as if... You know, West Brom, it's the Premier League, and each anything could happen. Cluj and Stevenage, we really should be beating them. Anyway, um, that's enough rambling for me. I hope you've been able to understand me through this very coarse voice. But um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the whole game. And I'll be recapping the Cluj game as well. So, see you then. Goodbye.